the shooting height. Those aren't normal. Those aren't normal things. Um, everybody in this locker room would want him to continue to be aggressive because we know that um, the more aggressive that he is, and the more that people have to help him, and just it, one, he already wants to spread the well. He already wants to pass the ball, but when he's able to be aggressive and he's putting the ball in the basket, and then they have to send an extra defender, uh, that leaves the shooter wide open. So, um, and then just with this team, everybody loves seeing everybody like Keegan had his game, and everybody's happy for him. Um, you know, whenever I'm playing well, everybody's happy for me. Like, that's just the way that everybody in this locker room is. And um, when you and we've talked about this in the past, when you enjoy playing with each other, uh, it makes basketball more fun and it makes you a better team. And that was it. <laughs> I can do that too. <laughs> Molly, I got to start this over. Okay, thank you. Uh, it, you know, it's always good to learn and win, uh, but, you know, we, we gave up 75 points in that second half. And, you know, we're going to keep trying to preach defense. And, and, you know, I thought tonight we did a good job in spurts. We had some really good defensive possessions. I thought our guards. Played the pick and roll the right way, <clears throat> and they continued pursuing with some rear view contests and stuff like that. We got out and ran off of those misses, but then we just had some lulls throughout the course of the game, and <clears throat> and you know those lulls are what we have to continue to try uh, try avoiding because you know you're in a seven game series, you're playing a top three team, and those lulls can create a 10-2 run for your opponent. <clears throat> and so, uh, you know, it's always good to get the win. I uh, had a lot of guys have uh, very good individual performances. Um, you know, Domus was a monster with his triple-double. He's been flirting with a triple-double the last, I don't know, five, six games, if not more. Uh, so for him to, to, to get one tonight was, was fantastic, especially with uh, only two turnovers. And that challenged both he and Fox before the game to take care of the ball tonight because that was one way I thought that it could fuel this team is if we turned it over. And those two guys did a heck of a job for as much as they handle the basketball and only, and only having three turnovers. So good win, uh, but we still got to continue to figure out how to how to string more stops together in a 48-minute game. Hey, Coach, you guys talked about, or earlier in this year mentioned you want to attack mismatches a little more this year in the first half of that third quarter went to the same set. I don't yeah. know how many times seeming to try to do that. What did you see in that stretch? We didn't even we didn't even get to the back side of the action. Uh, we were able to exploit their defense on the front side of the action, and you know they kind of messed up the, the, the switch with HB and, and, and Foxy time and time again. And when they did switch, they tried to front, and we were able to throw over the top to HB. He did a great job sealing his guy. And, you know, he made the right play after the right play after the right play. So that was a, a lot of fun to see. But like you said, I don't know how many times in a row we, we, we ran it and, and it was successful. So um, great execution by our guys in looking at not just the what the what the final part of the play is supposed to be, but looking at all options on the play. And there was a keeping post up in there? What? There was. I was like, mm, okay, Keegan. I meant, you know, it wasn't bad. I meant, you know, I, I think Keegan's 6'8", Jordan 6'3", 6'4". So we'll continue to see. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him his props on that one. Mike, you guys scored I was something like 76 points in the second half, but you gave up 75. Yeah. Just how frustrating is that that you weren't able to put that team away and give your starters a little bit of a break? You know, it, it's something that you you hope that we can learn to do through throughout the course of time. Um, it, you know, it is what it is. Our guys heard it from me, <laughs> um, and uh, we're going to have tomorrow off, so we won't watch much film. But uh, you know, we watch film individually, so. You know, guys will see the clips that they need to see. Uh, I, I thought that the, the, the last group that was on the floor, we, they didn't do a good job neither defensively. And, 
you know, the thing I keep telling the team is that that's how Keon got in rotation. Keon went out and played his behind off when we played at Houston in, you know, quote unquote insignificant minutes or however you want to call it. And he played the right way and he played hard. And, uh, and so he got another opportunity and he kept playing the right way and kept playing hard. And now he's, you know, he's Fox's backup. So it doesn't matter if you get 20 seconds or five minutes, somehow, some way, you got to keep your head in the game and you got to come out and try to play the right way if you want to break into the rotation. And uh, that, that was disappointing to see us give up so many points in the last three and a half minutes or whatever it is of the ball game. Mike, uh, you mentioned you know how Bill Moss has come up on the short end of the triple doubles a few times. Do you ever have to kind of push him along to recognize that or to, to try and go for those some of those accolades? No, because it, it's just about, it's about playing the right way. You know, I, I tell you a quick story is like when I coached LeBron back in Cleveland, everybody used to get on him about taking the last shot and. Dude just played the right way. If he created a double team and he saw a teammate wide open, he swung it to him for a wide open catch and shoot shot. That's that's the right play. And he obviously has the green light to go do what he wants to do. Same with Domas. But at the end of the day, Domas is just going to play the right way. And him playing the right way with the people that we have on this team, he can fall into a triple double. So not a thing that he needs to go chase because it can naturally happen with as talented as he is and as talented as the team is around him. Mike, four straight at home. I think you're seven and three now uh, at home so far this season. I remember that was a point of emphasis for you coming into the year and you talked about relying too much on the fan energy at times. Just progress report this early in the season. How do you feel the guys are doing at home? Uh, we're doing good. You know, I think we have the best fans in the NBA and guys should be excited playing this building and they should get energy from the fans and we have to take advantage of it when we're here and they're trying to do it the right way you know we were four and one in this five game span of ours we keep track of the you know our mini season or mini season within a season and for us to go get this one tonight uh was, was really good and you know it, in my opinion it's it's always thanks to the fans because when something good happens out on that floor they get louder and louder which energizes us and Hopefully we can continue. Mike, uh, the, the wife of uh, one of your star players tweeted tonight about one of your other star players that I hope we don't ever take him for granted, um, per se, speaking of Sabonis. Yeah. How good does that make you feel just about the, the togetherness and the, the culture that you guys have been able to build here? Nah, it's huge. This group's connected. They, they, Everybody wants everybody to have success. And when you see stuff like that and you hear stuff like that, I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome because that is not something that uh, you hear a lot or see a lot around the NBA because of the money and the, you know, the prestige of being this or that, uh, the accolades, the whole nine yards. But for somebody of a Mercedes level caliber to be able to say that publicly and mean it, <clears throat> um, it, it to me, it's, it's no surprise. It just speaks volumes of, of who she is as a person, who Fox is and what they believe uh, in this team and how connected we are as a group. Thanks, everyone. Thank you all.